Hello everyone, welcome back to a Born Again original. Um, this is going to be a fast one, I just wanted to kind of put something out there because I haven't put a video out for a couple months. Um, I wanted to talk about Mike Tyson and kind of the reason why I think he lost to Jake Paul. And it's not because he was an old man. <clears throat> it's not because he was a... Uh, because he's like physically unable to do so it's because the brotherhood or the association that jake paul's with um the cult that you could say i i'm not exactly sure what they call they call them people call them the illuminati I, I they obviously have some other name but the illuminati's broad so mike tyson obviously has a relationship with the illuminati um there was a point in time where he was making millions of dollars. That all went away due to false accusations. Well, who knows if they're even false accusations. He went to jail for... Um, for... Uh, I don't know if I could say it. For, you know... The R word. He's R-ing, he was R worded a girl. Um, and all his money... He lost all his money over time due to investments and bad management and all that. Um, that's just really interesting to me, so I just want to go, go through that kind of, and yeah, here we go. Alright, so this is just for people who possibly don't know Mike Tyson's background, because I do want to talk about Custy Amato, and, uh, maybe he, he was a paranoid guy, Custy Amato, the guy who found Mike Tyson, he was... Paranoid, he was up at all hours of the night, he would point guns at the door, he always thought people were coming to get him. I think he, it was something to do with the mafia most likely. It was either mafia or CIA. It's hard to tell what he was, I don't really think he said what he was paranoid for. But either way, he was, Mike Tyson's early career was just crazy, he was the youngest heavyweight champion of all time. Um... Custy Amato had one champion beforehand. Oh, let's see if I can find his page here. Alright, so this is Custy Amato in the early days. He was an old man by the time he met Tyson. 77 years old. Um, he died before he could even become champion. Let's see, personal life. So there's nothing, nothing here about any, him being part of any organizations, but I'll show you what I was referring to when he said he was paranoid at all times of the night. All right, so I actually couldn't find anything referencing that, but if you read Mike Tyson's first book, it says that he would sneak out and that when he would come back, Custy Amato would be like sleeping on the floor with a gun pointed at the door. And, you know, that just always stuck out to me. I thought, always thought it was weird. Um, who knew what the real reason was behind it, okay? Either way, here we go. We see Mike Tyson covering his eyes, showing his, showing his face, or showing that he is part of the Brotherhood. <clears throat> um, you know, and to get back in the Brotherhood, because remember, he lost all his money, right? He lost all his money over time, uh, over two, like hundreds of millions of dollars. Um, he ended up losing his daughter as well. So AI is giving us an overview. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of this. I think it's actually like kind of helpful sometimes, but you have to be careful not that the AI is not giving you misinformation. You have to go back and fact check it. But either way, we see that Mike Tyson's daughter, um, or Mike Tyson's son, Miguel, found Exodus unconscious, tangled in the cord of her home. And so her death was, like, right before Mike Tyson got his role in the hangover. It was before he got all these things that started reigniting his career. You know what I mean? So we know that at this point, Mike Tyson is, in fact, he's sold out. Like, he gave up 
a daughter. He gave up his someone in order to be able to achieve fame. At least make be able to make twenty million dollars again because um you can make a certain amounts of millions on your own, but after you get to a certain amount, like I think it's like over the twenty million mark where you can actually start doing lots with your money. Um, I think that's when they want to, to have you controlled. But that's just my personal opinion. And so with Jake Paul, I just want to bring up the fact that um, he is a cult, a cultist written all over him. Or maybe someone who's sponsored by the um, Illuminati or those, you know, whatever. The people who do black magic but also run the show. So he's obviously sponsored by them or he's one himself because you can see like the as above so below the bathomet um black and white or the checkerboard which is also i guess an allegory for the as above so below black and white um they control both aspects to show that they are gods among us they fake things to show that they can trick us Right, so we see the skull and bones symbol down there, which is a secret society that a lot of um elitists come from. Um, so I'll show you the Baphomet and then I'll show you the skull of bones. So, the Baphomet, the reason I like to bring that up is because if you look at the, the moon above, it is going to be a white moon, so that'll be white magic, uh, they'll, that'll be good things, that'll be. Um, good morality and if you go to the dark moon that's going to be dark magic that's going to be um, human sacrifice you know all sorts of uh, sexual um, ritualistic things okay <laughs> so I thought that was really interesting uh, Jake Paul's obviously an occultist or he is being managed by someone who's into the occult um You just got to realize, you know, like, these things are going to be set up when you get to the highest levels like that. And I know that I just, I really think that Mike Tyson had to do them a favor. And they called them, they were like, hey, Mike, um, you got to do this or you're not getting any more, like, money from us. Like, the brotherhood, you know what I mean? You said that to him. We're, we're going to be pushing this kid to push all these fake boxing so we can control that aspect of entertainment or I'm not actually, I don't know. There's a lot of different possibilities and we're going to continue. So the different with Jake's is that he had a do-rag covering his mouth. Um, yeah, do-rag covering the mouth of the skull. Not. Um, So this this is AI <laughs> telling me telling us this. So we got like Skull and Bone Society, which is a secret society at Yale. Here are some of the members. So William Howard Taft, George W. Bush, George W. Bush, George H. W. Bush. Um you you know you can see it for yourself, you can read this. So that doesn't mean that Jake himself went to Yale and he's a part of this. It means that someone who's sponsoring him or someone who's telling him how to do a high level for Mason is <clears throat> um it's part of it so it's by design right Alrighty, and i think there's a couple more points that i want to make before i end the video so if you're watching the match and you saw him um kiss the interviewer and walk away be like yeah i love you and then he walks away and it shows his um you know his butt that's when I knew this was going to be a humiliation ritual for Tyson. You can't come back from that. Like, even when he was walking to the ring and he stumbled, he just didn't, he just looked like he knew he was supposed to lose. This wasn't going to be like, he didn't need to hype himself up to get in the mood to fight or to kill someone, as Mike Tyson would say in the past. He just wants to kill his enemies. Um... 
Yeah. Very, very interesting stuff. Alrighty, so... There's also a couple more aspects, like... Mike Tyson, when he was a child, he says he became Mike Tyson because someone was bullying him so bad that he they ripped off a pigeon's head that he owned. Um, that is also part of MK Ultra. They will let the victim bond with an animal very, very, very heavily and then make them kill the animal. Um, so just to for detachment from others, I believe. Um, it's that's that's one thing that um stuck out to me is that Mike Tyson most likely was being brainwashed when he was at Camille's and um Custy Amato's but I'm gonna show you actually he actually was brainwashed because they were doing they were doing hypnosis on so we got Custy Amato did did uh hypnosis for um Tyson before the Sphinx fight um his name is John Haplin. He was in the background. He's a hypnotherapist. Um, he's, they lose their help lose weight or quit smoking. Um, Stiamato believed in the value of hypnosis to help his fighters quickly overcome fears and lack of confidence. He was brainwashing his fighters, right? Like, they don't tell you that they possibly were electroshocking people to hypno hypnotize them they weren't telling you in telling you these things especially when you have someone who's an alter personality like mike tyson he calls himself iron mike right <clears throat> three fighters of fear blah 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 either way this he used it on him. And keep in mind, Mike Tyson says that he would... He used to always, like, stay by himself in the attic and watch old fights videos or just read about Alexander the Great and that he would be Alexander, that he is Alexander. Like, that sounds a little bit like MK Ultra, like they're putting themselves in this scenario and they, like, have to, like... You know what I mean? And I'm not, I'm not saying that as someone who's never fought before. Like, I, I competed in MMA and all sorts of things my whole life. So, it's not foreign to me. I've never had to develop a f separate personality to compete. You know, that's the difference. Um, either way, let me know what you guys think. And share this video around. I'm going to be... Um, I didn't actually film myself today because it was... It's 5 in the morning. I'm I'm filming before I go to work. Um, maybe I will start filming myself before I go to work, but it's it's just a little rough. Um, yeah, but I'm glad to be back. Glad to be talking to you guys about some stuff. I did start on a Jake Paul and um, Jake Paul and the leader of L. Ron Hubbard like comparison video with Jack Parsons, and I'm going to. I don't think I'm going to do a full video on it because it was a lot of information. I just found myself going in circles and that's why I never released it. But I'll put something out that just like um, gets across what I was trying to say about them and how similar they are. So uh, yeah, unless you guys have something else for me, you guys would like me to cover. I, I am back. Like just put it in the comments, put it in whatever post text post um yeah if, so I'll, I'll try to do weekly posts again the channel was almost taken down by the way because youtube doesn't like the content but i'm pretty sure i'm past all the uh all the bad stuff now so. all right you guys that's enough of me babbling I just want to say, again, you know, as always, do not idolize the stuff. Do not put this research above your own relationship with the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And if you don't have a relationship with uh, with Jesus, he's the only reason I make these videos. He's the only reason I've been given wisdom on these subjects. Uh, if you accept God and accept Jesus, 
just expect your knowledge to grow on these topics. Um, when you have conviction and you can see things and you have like, if you have the Holy Spirit giving you, nudging you, it's, it's very, very powerful and very, very helpful when you're researching. And so without that, or with that, I would say, see you next time.